So the main thing that I would like to discuss today is about the overall geopolitical environment well, the Europe is in. Well, looking more into it at the moment, we can see last month we had the Brexit, where everyone said, okay, this is the end of Europe. Well, I still think that it is almost the end of the Europe, but nonetheless. Next, we had the Italian banking crisis, which is still yet to be over. And now we have the Turkey coup. So it seems like it's almost a doomsday. Yeah, and there are many, many traders wondering what is next? What can I expect out of this uh, crisis? What can I what can I trade and how can I trade it? So when we look into the market, Brexit created the instability in the, not only in Forex market, but overall financial markets and not only in Europe, but overall all over the world. So Brexit could have been seen as a catalyst when it comes to the overall financial instability. Then immediately in line with Brexit, we have seen this Italian banking crisis. So what does Italian banking crisis really stand for? And what can I really do as a trader in order to take advantage of it? Well, the main thing that I have for you at the moment when it comes to Italian pro uh, banking crisis is that this week on Thursday, we have the five and 10 year old bill auction in Italy. It is Italian bond auction results, basically. So on Thursday it is. So if we see any instability during this bond auction, we are likely to see that Italian banking crisis will get even worse. Of course, you got to also remember one thing. Who is the biggest bond buyer in Europe? Of course, the ECB. Who is the president of ECB? Mario Draghi. Where is he from? Italy. Well, to my mind, I believe that he also will try his best as the, the chief of the ECB in order to make sure that Italy doesn't really get more into trouble. However, though, well, how worse can the overall you know, crisis be or get? So this is my two cents about the Brexit issue. Now, the third thing is about the, the coup, the Turkey coup. Over the weekend, we had this, well, quite shocking, horrid event happening in, in Turkey. To some, it was, it was just a show. To some, it was a well-deserved event. But for me, as a person who have been there, who have studied even in a, in a Turkish school uh, back in my well young times or uh, early times, I have also my, my personal feelings to that country. And one thing that stands out to me is the fact that Turkey is the closest ally of the West in Middle East. Although some of them would really claim that they are not really in Middle East, but nonetheless, for me, I am convinced that Turkey is part of the Middle East. And if the West loses their closest ally in Middle East, we are likely to see that the instability well, overall in this geography is likely to get even worse. And now, what opportunity does it bring for traders if there is more instability in the Middle East? And to answer this simple question, you got to look into oil, crude oil. So there is, and not only crude oil, but overall uh, trade activities happening. So if the West and the Turkish uh, trade, mo uh, al well, collaboration or partnership is, uh, is broken or damaged, we are likely to see that the, the US is going to first pull out a, a, a card, which is the NATO card. 
for your information, Turkey is part of the NATO. So if that happens, they will start talking that uh, Turkey might lose its potential membership. Uh, well, potentially they might lose their membership to NATO. And that's one thing. Then the Turkey could block the Bosphorus where uh, there is a massive amount of uh, trade ships passing through from uh, Mediterranean, Aegean, etc. to Black Sea and, and uh, having over all these uh, trade activities connecting east to west. Well, there is massive uh, trade activity taking place overall in, in those waters. So if that happens, we can also see more instability in, in other Caucasus countries as well, including, and also in, in Ukraine too, where we would be, you know, seeing the world getting more and more unstable. So, can you trade this? I'm not sure if you can really take a big advantage of, uh, of it in Forex market unless you are trading Turkish Lira. So, yesterday on a 2 zforexcom we shared an analysis about how to trade the US, uh, US dollar Turkish Lira. If you look into the market on technical uh, analysis perspective, we can see that 1.85, 1.90 level has been a pivotal level for, uh, for US dollar Turkish Lira. So if we see more and more instability on this level, we are likely to see that uh, this demand zone is becoming a, the most important support level and nonetheless 3.0 psychological resistance level which has been acting as a strong uh, psychological resistance for the past few years will be broken and nonetheless we yesterday commented that above 2.95 buy where your targets will become 2.9940 and then 3.04 uh, 90 or 70 it was and nonetheless, final point for me is going to be 3.1907. 3.1907 at the moment is around 2000 pips difference from where we are at the moment. So you as a trader could take advantage of it. Now, let's actually take a look at the, the market and see what we can expect as a result of this uh, market move. The very first thing that stands out for me is that when you look into the, the market, the GBP is also moving on a, on a corrective wave. Let me open my, my chart. I'm looking into the cable, bridge pound US dollar. And at the moment, all I can see is that the corrective wave between 1.30 to 1.34 is about to, to get well finalized and if we look into the market from daily time frame we can see that the overall market correction is forming kind of a reversal pattern however i would not really buy british pound at this given moment since there is no well no confirmation at all that would tell me that the the reversal is uh, well it is either reversal or, or continuation for one very major fact that there is no higher high, there is no higher low yet on, on cable. Thus, my outlook would be that if I see a break below the lowest low of the, the previous week, well, not the previous week, but the uh, low slow of uh, the 14th of July which is at uh, 1.3104 level if you see a, a break below that level we are likely to see the bearish continuation once again testing the 1.28 1.29 levels however though if we see a break above the level of 1.35 which is a minor psychological resistance level as well, we are likely to see that the pair is going to be reversing back. It is not going to be a reversal on a bullish side. 
However, this reversal is likely to take place around 300 pips, and this is for cable, British pound, US dollar. When I look into the British pound, Japanese yen, the, the story is rather different than, uh, than cable. And you may be wondering why. The main factor about British pound, Japanese yen uh, instrument is the point not about Great Britain, but about the Japan. Two weeks ago, well, not, not this weekend, the previous weekend, when Bank of Japan, uh, not, well, uh, Japanese Prime Minister uh, Shinzo Abe's uh, team basically won the elections uh, or, or, or the overall referendum, the main thing in Japan got shifted, well, from main economic sentiment. The previous Fed uh, chairman also come, uh, is at the moment uh, kind of consulting the Japanese government. Although you will not be finding everywhere about the confirmation of uh, the market having a helicopter money, there is indeed discussion about it in Japan. So let me ask you one question. What do you understand from price perspective when you have excess amount of something? Let's say you, you want to buy a computer, Dell, uh, let's say. You are going to the shop and you see that there is excess amount of it and nobody wants to buy it, imagining. What will happen? The, obviously the shops will start to drop the price in order to get rid of their inventories because the, the demand is so low while there is too much of supply. So when the demand is low, supply is high, basics of economics, price falls. The same is happening in the forex market. When there will be potential helicopter money, at the moment the market is buying the rumors. The likelihood that Japanese yen is going to be depreciating, which it is the case, because there will be too much of Japanese yen supply, where there will not be much of demand for it, and Bank of Japan this way would expect actually the people not to save, which is the traditional Japanese way of, you know, saving culture. And nonetheless, what will happen is that the Japanese yen will, will start depreciating. And I repeat again, this is so far by the rumors fact. Market is buying the rumors. That's the reason why we have seen in the last uh, more or less eight, nine days, Japanese yen appreciating. Uh, well, five, seven days, not nine yet. So, if you look into the British pound Japanese yen, all I can say is that unless we see a break below 138.30 level, we are onto a bullish correction wave. And my, my targets at the moment remains at my true Fibonacci wave of 88%, which lies at 147.60 level and nonetheless this is going to be the main target for me when it comes to trading British pound Japanese yen. Very final point that I'm going to be talking today and touching about it will be about euro dollar and when we are talking about euro dollar not only Italian crisis is the, is the focus key for you but also overall, uh, well, environment that Europe is in as well. So the first thing, as we discussed, what will happen in Europe in response to Brexit vote? And this week, Boris Johnson, which is the foreign secretary of the, the new foreign secretary of the UK, uh, will be having its first test with the European Council. They will be basically discussing about it and there are rumors that he is, uh, although he was one of the major Brexit supporters, now there are rumors that he is actually against Brexit. Now, we will be looking into the commentary from it. 
if that becomes the case and we see a public announcement from Boris Johnson that he doesn't want UK to break free from the EU, we are likely to see the British pound depreciating while the euro appreciating because they say that euro, well, the perception of the investors will be that euro is more valuable for, for the UK. Thus, the reason that uh, euro should be appreciating. Next thing is that in around 43 minutes, we have the German ZW data coming out, which is basically the, the sentiment. If that's also positive, today we can also see kind of a corrective wave from the euro uh, for today. Unless we see a break below the, the lowest low of yesterday's, which is at more or less uh, 1.1035 level, we would possibly be expecting as a, as a reversal today from uh, euro dollar. Would I buy at this given price? My answer would be that I would be hesitating. Would I look for buy opportunity? My answer would be yes. That which level would I look into buying the euro dollar? Well, the answer is very simple, follow the price action. Look for the highest high of yesterday, you need to see another higher high for, uh, for euro dollar compared to yesterday's high. And when you see a break above that level, of course, supported by a positive ZW data today, you can then expect to see a break above the, well, a bullish uh, continuation wave. Which level we, we should be looking for, which uh, that would be the potential following question. And my answer would be that uh, we would be initially targeting 1.1111, which is for me psychology resistance level. Then from there onwards, the pair should have a resistance at 1.1240 level, which is 138.2% Fibonacci retracement zone. And finally, it is not just Europe which is in crisis. The whole world is in crisis, guys. There are even German banks, major German banks, which are at the age of bankruptcy. So it feels for me that we are living in 2000, well, we are living 2007 again. The market is really, really reminding me 2007, 2008 at the moment. The big brothers, which are the governments, central banks, they are trying their best to manipulate the market sentiment. They are trying their best to create an image that there is no, well, fear factor in the market, which is not correct. Italy is in crisis, one of G7 countries in the world. When Italy goes down, the whole Europe goes down, Western Europe. Switzerland has a massive interest in there as well. Well, uh, neighboring countries to Italy, they all go down. German banks go down. When Germany goes down, the whole Europe collapses. I'm not really willing to be the daredeviler or, or uh, doomsday caller, but we cannot ignore the fact that we are living at the age of major 2017 financial crisis. So my suggestion would be stay safe, make sure to diversify, have some of your assets in gold and silver. They are still undervalued and just in case, if banks go crazily, you know, off the business, know that there will be lack of cash. So this is not really a forex part, but nonetheless, make sure that you have some cash reserves just in case whenever things go wrong. So let's see if you have any questions. I'm looking for uh, just a page now. All right. 
are some questions being sent to me too personally I don't know why not to type it in the video okay there is a comment that if I remember correctly in one of your webinars you mentioned an opportunity in some of gold penny stocks I was wondering when analyzing them individually do you analyze it like any stock or is there a different approach well it is not really part of forex but uh, penny stocks are just like any other stocks you gotta analyze them well technical and fundamentally as well especially gold mining penny stocks are a different kind of uh, or different breed of uh, stocks you, when gold is appreciating, these stocks will appreciate majorly because they are gold dependent and they are tiny companies. In general, if gold is appreciating 1%, gold penny stocks should be appreciating 3% or 5. So 3 to 5 is the is the level that you are you are looking for. So when you are analyzing gold penny stocks, you should be analyzing the gold prices. And if you expect gold prices to hike, then you, you look for bullishness in these penny stocks as well. But be aware, there are too many scams in the, in the penny stocks as well. So you got to make sure that you are only trading the reliable sources. And most of these penny stocks on, on gold will be on the, on Can uh, on, in Canada and also West Coast uh, US. See any other question? Okay, one of the question comes to me again commenting was it staged? Josh, I think uh, you got to be clear on what do you mean by calling was it stage? If you are, I'm just suspecting that your your comment is about uh, the Turkish coup. Uh, there he there he goes, the the Turkish coup. So was it staged or not? Well, I can't comment about it, but uh, no one can rule out that it was staged because it was put down so fast. It is impossible to put a real coup down in, in just three hours and and the soldiers uh, I speak some Turkish they they did not really have any clue about what, what they were doing they were just told that they're going to practice okay one of my my Turkish friends comment what about Greece well, I haven't really fo uh, followed what's happening in Greece, but uh, you got to also know one thing that uh, some of the Turkish military personnel fled to, to Greece and applied for asylum, political asylum. Uh, from what I know, uh, the helicopter has been returned back to Turkey. I'm not really sure what, what happened to these personnel. Uh, since they, they should be questioned first before they are being returned to, to Turkey. But if they are granted asylum, this is what I also believe will happen. One thing, the, the Greek-Turkish uh, issue will, will get worse. Turkey will not stop the migrant uh, flow to Europe. So Greece will be flooded with, with migrants. There are too many migrants anyway in, in Turkey at the moment. Plus, uh, I lived in Cyprus for a while, the Cyprus issue will not be resolved for the fact that Turkey plays a key role and so does the Greece as well when it comes to negotiations and, and an agreement between, well, putting North and uh, South Cyprus uh, come together. So if that becomes the case, we are looking for another turmoil in Middle East as well, despite the fact that Cyprus is in EU. They are still dependent from uh, dependent on uh, Turkey and Greece, so I really hope that it doesn't happen. All right, 
This calls it uh, the end of today's session. Tomorrow we have a session about the market analysis and we are going to be starting very soon uh, premium trainings on, uh, on certain days of the month about how to trade and I'll also start sharing my True Fibonacci waves as well as my book is about to come live and follow atzforex.com as well because we have a major surprise in there in the next couple of uh, days and weeks. We have two amazing tools coming up where you will be able to you know, take advantage of market carefully and uh, more effectively. So guys, this was Yagub Rahimov. I'm the head of A to Z Forex Academy. And thank you very much for joining me today. I'll see you next time.